Rebecca Dow and her son Brady are big time Oilers fans. I love going to the games, I love cheering them on, and I love them when I go home, whether they win or lose. Rebecca is a legal assistant. Her home is tastefully decorated in contemporary copper and blue. Stanley Cup champion banners, probably one of my favorite features in the room. <laughs> we would like to get a lot more. Pets were named after players. We've had a cat named Ranford. And Brady arrived to this world during the longest game in Oilers playoffs history. I didn't have a chance. I was born an Oilers fan. Curry with McTavish down to Klima. Klima shoots. He scores! That was May 14, 1990. Ten years later, Rebecca became a season ticket holder. In February of 2001, Brady was diagnosed with stage 3 Burkitt's lymphoma, cancer of the lymphatic system. Then we were in for the battle of our life. Doctors found a large and operable tumor in his stomach. Aggressive chemotherapy was Brady's only chance. We were pretty much in the hospital all the time. Yeah, we were pretty much there for seven months. During treatment, Brady lost half of his body weight and all of his hair. I, I don't remember a lot of the negative stuff, really. I was just, like, I remember being surrounded by my family and the nurses and the doctors, and I just kind of remember all the good stuff that happened. It was, I mean, it's been 10 years. There's no point in dwelling on you know, what happened and what could have happened. I'm here now. And Needless to say, Brady beat the deadly disease and has been cancer-free for a while now. But during those dark days, the Oilers helped provide some light by visiting the Stollery Children's Hospital. It was just a huge, huge lift in our spirits at a time that we really, really, really needed it. So it was, it was fantastic. Ryan Smith was Brady's favorite player. I remember they didn't want me to go see him and I just I told them we're going to see Ryan Smith. Hockey got Brady back up again. And hockey got Brady going again, too. We would bring hockey sticks and pucks to his physio. A couple of weeks ago, 10 years after Ryan Smith befriended him, the two got together again, following an Oilers practice at Rexall Place. Hey, good, you? Good to see you, too. Pretty good. You remember Brady? I do. You look better than I saw you last. Yeah, <laughs> a lot different. Yeah, a little bit of hair. And, yeah. Some weight back on you. Yeah. <laughs> to impact the community the way I have, uh, or my family for that matter, is uh, it's quite humbling. And uh, you know, to see uh, the success that has gone on in uh, somebody's life like that, it uh, it touches my heart too. Brady's 21 now. He's joining the military in January, and he's marching confidently into the future, cancer-free. I feel good. Yeah, I haven't been sick since. It's nice for me as a mom just to see, uh, you know, what Brady was like 10 years ago and then to see him with Brian 10 years later healthy was great, was absolutely great. Brady, it's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. All the best to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. John Sexsmith, Global Sports.